Hey guys, welcome back. Today we've got a pretty interesting and completely all over the place Halo Infinite news video. But first, I've got some news to share. I am extremely proud to announce that I've been cast in Halo Infinite alongside some great friends of mine and also some of the biggest Halo fans in existence. Fans of the lore, the expanded universe and just about everything, including but not limited to Lil Pump, Lil Yachty, Kermit the Frog, Lord Gaben, and many more. But what role am I playing, you ask? Well, acting is a profession that I've wanted to get into for a long time, and so I am incredibly excited to reveal that I'll be doing ASMR recordings for the Grave Mind. Okay, so hopefully now you can see that this is a joke. I thought I'd try something a little bit different with the first part of today's video. Inject a, a bit of comedy into the channel that at the same time has a purpose and of course revolves around Halo Infinite. So why the hell am I making this? Well, the genesis of this video was about a week ago. A new listing popped up on the Halo Infinite IMDb page. Matt Kaminsky as Brute 3. Now, when this was found, everyone immediately went into full-on hype mood. Brute 3 stan account started popping up left, right, and center like he was some K-pop megastar. And he was suddenly the messiah of the Halo community. And you know what? I, I understand why. We've not had the Brutes in a major Halo game since... 2010, almost a decade now, and people seem to really miss them and want to see him come back. So this was only good news, right? Well, not necessarily. As recent events have made abundantly, abundantly clear, what you see on sites like IMDb should never be taken as concrete fact. As official as they may seem, and to be fair, like 99% of the time they are official, but at the same time, they are also user curated, which means that just about anyone can come along and add their own listing, and it'll stay there as is until the moderator comes along and deletes it. And with how many edits are made to IMDb pages every day, sometimes deleting these troll edits takes a while. So, is the legendary Brute 3 real? Well, I, I wouldn't completely rule it out. I mean, the voice actor who was supposedly playing him before the listing was taken down is an active actor and voice actor who's done plenty of games in the past. I mean, hell, the guy even played BJ Blazkowicz and returned to Castle Wolfenstein. But again, that doesn't really confirm anything. It might just mean that the guy, the, the brute mega fan who made the listing of Brute 3 just did a bit of research beforehand. At the end of the day, we won't know whether or not this was a troll edit until we get more information about Infinite, which I'm sure will be any day now. However, following the tragic, awful passing of Brute number three, a new Halo meme has risen from its ashes like the most glorious phoenix to never exist, creating the most ridiculous Infinite cast and character list humanly possible. And before we get onto the concrete infinite news, of which I definitely do have some, I want to cover some of my favorite castings and returning characters first, because some of these are absolute comedy gold, and it would be a shame to, to not talk about them. Now, I don't consider myself a, mod a modest person, really, but, you know, I'm going to make an exception today and kick off this cast list with what I have, apparently, unbeknownst to me, been cast as in Halo Infinite. I'll be doing ASMR as the Gravemind, and also Hidden Riser, the Florian version of me that I had no idea existed until now, is going to be playing the Gravemind. Wait, hang on. Did this little bastard just steal my dream role? Right, I need to speak to my agent. Back in a second. <clears throat> okay, anyways, uh, moving on. I'm extremely excited to announce the casting of Drip God and Esketit CEO Lil Pump as none other than Spartan Gucci himself, rumored to be Oni's highest paid Spartan 3 headhunter, with Mjolnir clad in only the finest Italian materials. But that isn't all, he's also going to be playing fan favorite returning character Dr. Miranda Keys. Man, I cannot wait to see how she survived Halo 3, of which she very clearly did. Just like Guilty Spark, she very clearly survived Halo 3, guys. Very clearly. And then how she went on to get a doctorate after that. 
God, Infinite's gonna be crazy, dude. I can't wait. Everyone's favorite member of FaZe Clan, Lil Yachty, has been cast as the elusive Spartan IC076. Now, could this mysterious Spartan maybe have links to IC Narco? The man at the top of Oni's most wanted list? Or something else entirely? I guess only time will tell, although I'm liking these rappers being cast as Spartans. I'm, I'm really hoping that in the future they maybe cast some members of Drain Gang as well. I could totally see Blade and Echo 2K being cast as like a Roland and Jonah style head into duo or something. Please, 343, make that happen, please. The final musician turned Halo actor is, well, quite a big one. She starred in many things from her own music videos to even Black Mirror. It's Miley Cyrus, apparently. Yep, Miley Cyrus is in Halo Infinite. <laughs> Good lord, what the hell am I making? She's gonna be playing the voice of Wrecking Ball, which to me sounds like an incredibly destructive foreigner AI. It seems that MCC coming to Steam really did spark a new era of cooperation between Microsoft and Valve because none other than Lord Gaben himself has been cast as something that literally does not and never will exist. Wow, what a time to be alive! This one was pretty huge. Uh, it appears that Noble Six is actually back. Philip Anthony Rodriguez, who played Noble Six back in Reach, will be pulling everyone's favorite hyperlethal vector out of his cave, as well as also bringing back tons of other fan favorites, including Mendicant Bias, the Didact, and even Sergeant Johnson. And furthermore, Redacted 17, an actor that I can't say I've heard of, is even gonna be playing George, albeit posthumously. Man, it really seems to me like 343 are taking a lot of inspiration from Endgame with Halo Infinite, given that they're bringing back literally every character to ever exist in Halo. I can't wait to see how they pull this off. And finally, we have Dee Bradley Baker, the one and only original voice actor for the ever iconic Gravemind, returning, but this time, not as the grave mind, as the one and only voice of the primordial. And then taking his and, wait, apparently my role as the grave mind as well, uh, okay, is a, uh, it's an obvious choice. It's, it's Kermit the Frog. Who else would you pick to play the grave mind? Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog, ladies and gentlemen. And then also exuberant witness will be apparently be making a God. Exuberant Witness is making a return, voiced by, and again, this is a very obvious choice, Mark Thatcher, the son of British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. So, while your mind continues to be blown into the fourth dimension by those castings, let's move on to the actual concrete infinite news that we have to cover. Now, brace yourselves. This stuff is genuinely new, but like... Don't expect loads, there's not much of it, like, at all. So this past weekend, I think it was this past weekend, um, New York Toy Fair was going on, where all the major toy manufacturers reveal their new releases for the year, and of course, part of that is the collaborations that they're doing with, like, games, TV shows, and movies. Yeah, I think you can see where this is going. So, <laughs> Nerf announced a collaboration with Halo for 2020, and they revealed three guns that they're going to be releasing this fall to coincide with Infinite. Fall, not holiday, so apparently that's when Infinite's coming out now. Pretty cool. The first gun, and the most important of all the three, is the Assault Rifle. Now, colours aside, this AR is clearly the one from the last Infinite trailer, but we actually got confirmation that it is. According to Nerf, this is the MA-40 Assault Rifle, and the Nerf gun is inspired by the weapon in the upcoming Halo Infinite. So, the new Reach-inspired AR in Infinite is officially called the MA-40, confirmed! Pretty cool name, honestly, and it proves that it is actually an updated version of the MA-37 from Reach, as if that wasn't already obvious enough. It looks pretty much identical overall, but what's interesting to me is that the MA-37 was favoured by the UNSC Army, hence why it was in Reach. So does this mean that we're going to be fighting alongside the army as opposed to marines in Infinite? I don't know. Food for thought, though. However, that isn't all from the description. So it was also revealed that a code will come with this blaster to unlock the Nerf MA-40 colour scheme as a skin for your MA-40 in Infinite. 
So, that confirms weapon skins in Halo Infinite, I guess. I'm not totally against this, don't get me wrong, as long as they steer very, very clear of microtransactions and the skins aren't stupid ones like that bloody pizza skin. Please, no more pizza skins or fry skins. Give us actual camos like woodland and desert and stuff like that, and for the more extravagant skins, do stuff like gold or diamond or... I don't know, Promethean or something weird like that. Just don't do these stupid, silly, flamboyant ones, please. Anyways, moving on, the other two nerf guns are what they call micro shots, which, from my extensive research, appear to be shrunk down, out of proportion, stylized versions of weapons. So I don't think you can really infer too much from these. As you can see, the micro shots that they're making are the Spanker and the Needler. I guess this confirms that both the Spanker and the Needler are going to be an infinite. No surprise there. Um, I really do hope that this isn't the Needler design though. Looks a little bit weird, but like I said, we can't really infer too much from these given that they're more stylized designs and not actual designs like the Assault Rifle one. But yeah, that's all for today. A video that began life as a glorified shit post ended up being actually my first video since June last year with some actual infinite news in it. What a strange turn of events. Right, I need to get back to working on the next mod showcase video, so let's wrap this one up here. I want to give a massive thank you to Cohen Fong Feliciano, I think I pronounced that right, apologies if not, for becoming a primordial over on Patreon, along with of course everyone else who continues to support me over there, and thank you all so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one.